What's up internet? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film something and I didn't know what I wanted to film so I thought I would film my current favorites. I know it's like the middle of March but you know what? I do what I want. I do what I want. So I'm got kind of a lot of things that I've been loving right now so I'm just gonna kind of go through it quickly. Quick intro, quick video. Let's do this. If you guys don't know, I'm kind of a huge skincare nerd, so let's start off with some skincare stuff. This Mario Badescu Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion or Alpha Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion. Oh my gosh, I had a little like travel size of this to try out. Um, I haven't really been using a toner in my skincare routine since I was on like the three step acne type programs. Um, this stuff is amazing. I love it. I finally bought the big bottle woo, yesterday because um, I needed, there was a hair on my face, because I needed a big size because I ran out of my travel size. This stuff is awesome. I highly recommend it. Oh my gosh. I like, will change your life. Like if you don't use a toner, try this one out. Woo. It's just, it's just, ah, oh, I can't even, I can't even. That's why it's probably my number one favorite right now. Maybe. My number one skincare favorite, at least. It's amazing. And I don't know where I'm gonna. <laughs> right on the bed. Another thing that I've been obsessed with is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. I'm currently wearing it right now. This is what it looks like. It has such great coverage for a CC cream. It has SPF 50, which is awesome. Um, and it's just super awesome. I bought the mini size because I wanted to try it out and I didn't want to like buy the full size. And now I'm going to need to buy the full size because it's awesome. I love it. It's super quick on mornings when I open at work and have to be there at 5.30 and I'm getting ready at 4.20 in the morning. It's so easy to just slap on and you still look great. Um, I probably am going to go buy another one of these because I'm going on spring break and I'll probably get a little more tan so I might need the tan shade. Um, depending on which one I go for, I uh, will get a big size in this, but I probably will get a smaller size again because it's only like 10 bucks at Ulta. It's awesome. Check it out. It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream is to die for. And that's the color medium. I'll probably need the next step up, which I believe is tan after I am go on spring break. Another little skin cow favorite is the Kate Somerville Daily Deflector Moisturizer. This is SPF 50 plus. I bought this last summer um, because I had a small sample size of it. Fell in love. I have super sensitive skin when it comes to sunscreen and a lot of different sunscreens sting me um, and I don't like that. This doesn't. It's amazing. It is quite expensive. I want to say this 1.7 fluid ounce bottle is $48. Possibly, yeah, I think it's 48. Um, my brother and I went have these on this use last summer. He loved it. I am going to be doing a, a sunscreen review over spring break, so I picked out a few different sunscreens that have high ratings, high following. Um, so yeah, you can look forward to that on both my blog and this channel. But this is my go-to right now. I love it. This has lasted me since last summer. Um, I haven't used it. I didn't use it over the winter, obviously, because you don't really... I mean, you should be wearing sunscreen, but I don't need like 50 plus because there's no sun in Oregon in the winter. So since I work at Starbucks, I'm constantly washing my hands at work and getting in sanitizer at work. So my hands literally like were disgusting. Like so dry look like alligator skin I had like red patches it was so bad so my mom recommended this Neutrogena Norwegian formula hand cream fragrancery because you can't wear fragrance at Starbucks so I put this on you just need a little bit oh my gosh it saves your skin so much my hands are like back to normal they're a little dry I should probably put some on but it's amazing I love it works awesome if you work at Starbucks or in any place where you have to be constantly washing your hands Go get you some of that because it will save your life. And I'm waving around my next favorite. This is the CK1 Mascara in 800 Show, which is just black. I have been wearing waterproof mascara 
since I started wearing mascara because I have very big cheeks. So when I smile, my eyes squint, and when I laugh, my eyes water. Also when I smile, my eyes water, and that causes my mascara to transfer to the bottom of my, like right here, and it's so annoying. So I have always been wearing waterproof mascara. I decided to break out of my shell and try a mascara that was not waterproof, and this stuff is amazing. Um, it holds curl, which is another reason why I always use waterproof, is because I have stick straight lashes and they don't hurt hold curl without a mascara that does that. So this is awesome. This is what I'm wearing right now. And it's super black, holds curl, stays all day, doesn't transfer. Um, the only thing is when you take it off, you have to like... It doesn't work with coconut oil, which I typically use to remove waterproof mascara because it's amazing at that. Um, it doesn't get removed with oil, but if you use water and just kind of go like this to your lashes, it comes off It comes off fl in flakes. It doesn't come off as like whoosh, liquid, you know? Um, but yeah, this is amazing. It's lasted me a while too, so good job CK, good job CK. The last skincare, hair care type product is the Victoria's Secret Beach Love Coconut and Hawaiian Sugar Cane 2-in-1 Hair and Body Oil with Jojoba Oil. This stuff I bought, actually I want to say it was last spring break, um, maybe not spring break, no it was actually last summer in Eugene, I went with my cousins and they have a Victoria's Secret there. We have a Victoria's Secret here but I don't know, I bought this there. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. And I've been using it in my hair. Like, because I have a real big issue with my hair getting frizzy. Because it's like weirdly wavy. But when I brush it out, it gets frizzy. So that's why I like, never brush my hair. But um, spray this in. Like my ponytail was like a giant fluff ball. I sprayed it in, brushed it through. Stick straight. Like silky smooth. Smells amazing. This stuff is awesome. Okay, the next category I have is clothing type things slash accessories. The first thing I'm going to show you is some shoes. These are Nike Flyknit Lunar 2s. Um, actually, funny story, my brother and I originally bought these for my little sister's birthday. Turns out he's dumb and got her an 8 instead of a 9, I want to say she is, a 9 and 9 and a half, something like that. So we got these, I pull them out, realize, oh, these are the wrong size. That's why you never let your brother buy your sister birthday presents. Always be the one to take control of that if you're a female because males suck at that type of stuff. So we pull them out, they're super cool. Turns out they're my size. We decide to buy her something else. And actually, I think we went to Portland for her birthday and we bought her some Nike stuff too. Um, but yeah, these are really cool. I've been running recently. These are, I have super flat feet, so I like can't run. I have a pair of freeze that I used to run in. They were destroying my feet and my um, shins. I was getting insane shin splints. Um, so I like to use a little bit more support. These are awesome. Um, like I said, they're fine Lunar 2s. I have another pair of Lunar Glides, which are amazing. Um, but these are ones I've been wearing recently because they look so cool and they're so bright and they're so happy. Yeah. The next thing is a hoodie. It was recently very warm up here in Medford, uh, Southern Oregon. But now it's like... Well, it's kind of sunny out now, but it was rainy and gross yesterday. But this hoodie I bought in LA from Roxy. No, Quicksilver. Whoa. Quicksilver. Wait, no. Roxy. <laughs> Quicksilver is the male version. Roxy is the girl version. Duh, because Quicksilver is the one like hoop and then Roxy is the two together. Um, but this is the love of my life. Like this hoodie is so comfortable. It looks so cool. It has like one of these like necks that kind of is a little longer so it just sits so awesome. It fits amazing. I am in a size medium I want to say. Did I get medium? Yeah. Um, I don't know the exact name of it. I'll look it up and link it down below um, and I'll put the name on the screen. This is like the best hoodie in the world. Like no joke. I love this. Uh, I love, if you guys don't know, I love surfwear surf type clothes, beach clothes, that's like all I wear. 
Um, but yeah, that is my one love. Another thing that I've been recently obsessed with that I also bought in LA is my Kate Spade Monday little bag. It is cute and red and tiny and adorable and it fits tiny stuff and I love it and yeah, that's all I can really say about it. It's just amazing. It's fantastic. I bought a phone case from the Typo Cotton On's like accessory store. I've brought this back out now that it's been a little bit warmer up here because I love it and this is the best case in the world. Like I'm telling you. I have an iPhone 5S. Um, this is what it looks like. It's so cool. I love it. I always get compliments on it. Although people always call it a Spongebob case. It's not a Spongebob case. It's just a freaking pineapple. So yeah, don't call it a Spongebob case if you see someone with a pineapple because that's not it. Also because it has been getting warm, I am back in drinking iced tea. Whenever I work, I get a green iced tea, unsweetened, because I don't like, ew. Do you know how much sweetener goes in a venti green iced tea at Starbucks? Six pumps of classic, like ew. I like it unsweetened because I love the flavor of green tea, so that's what I always get. But currently, I am back into Tirana, which yes, Starbucks does carry, which we do carry this pineapple cone of pop, but this is the loose leaf. Like, can you see this? Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This loose leaf in there. This is the Frutabamba green tea and the pineapple cone of pop herbal tea, which we do sell this at Starbucks. You can't actually buy the loose leaf at Starbucks of this. It's just, I don't know if it's exactly the same. I buy mine, this, these were actually from a Tivana store, but I mix these, two teaspoons of these, two teaspoons of this, put it in hot water, steep it, put it over ice, it's amazing, I love it. I'm a huge iced tea drinker, so I'm stoked that it's warm enough to drink iced tea again because I don't drink iced tea in the cold. Sometimes at work I do. Next is what I have been watching. I have been obsessed with Blacklist on Netflix. My family has recently got obsessed with it and we watched like five episodes yesterday. Yeah, it's an amazing show. I love it super much. It's awesome. Also, How to Get Away with Murder. I actually finished. I'm like all cut up, caught up on it. And that's sad because I love that show. A YouTuber that I've recently found and been obsessively watching, like obsessively, is Max Tuning. He power lifts, which you're probably like, what the heck? Why do you watch that? I don't know. I find it super interesting. I've never lifted weights like in my life. I always do like HIIT training, body weight training, running, tennis. Like that is my fitness regime. Um, but I don't know. I find it so interesting. Like the fact that people can lift like that much weight is insane. I don't know. He's super, he's super entertaining as well. So that probably has to do a lot with it. But yeah, I'll link his channel down below if you want to check it out. It's super cool. Yeah. Last thing in my little favorites right now is things that I've been listening to. I've been obsessed with Yellow Claw. If you watched some of my vlogs recently, I mentioned that. Yellow Claw is just amazing. Super awesome music, super hype music, great for running. Um, I like to listen to a lot of EDM, like high rep, um, or high, what's that phrase? Beats per minute, BPM, there we go. Um, music when I run, Yellow Claw has been doing it for me. They're just so great. I'm obsessed, like literally obsessed. Probably my favorite song right now is Techno. Wolf is a good one. 21 Bad Bitches, that's a great one. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with Yellow Claw. Also, Beyonce. I feel like I'm always obsessed with Beyonce, but like right now her song Countdown is like all I want to listen to. I don't know why I just go through these phases, I'll like go into a 
music video watching frenzy of hers on youtube and i'm just like ah, why are you so amazing like why why just spread some of that on me please so that's what i've been obsessed with recently hope you guys enjoyed maybe found some cool new things you want to check out um i will i'll link i'll link put links to everything that i mentioned down below if you want to check it out super quick so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to sub that don't forget to don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Hit that like button. You can always check me out at all my links down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!